Welcome to Monday. Hey, um, I got a trials coming up next weekend, and what I want to do is um, forward mount my shocks, uh, make some fork mods, and improve my front brake. I can do the rear suspension. I have a few days. It's uh, like I say, it's Monday, and I'll probably you know want to be ready by Friday afternoon. The front, uh, the front brake is from a, I believe, a 1983 ADX 250. The forks are from a Boltaco trials bike. They're Baiters, uh, 35 millimeter. The triple clamps are made by WC Machine in uh, Guilford, Vermont. The front tire is the IRC Trials. It's the the better of the two, I guess the Taiwan one. The brake shoes in the front have been relined with forklift friction material and the spokes have all been replaced with Buchanan spokes, stainless steel spokes in the front. I stripped the paint off the hub and went over the needle gun and uh, changed the texture of it so it wasn't just plain black paint anymore. 
and the backing plate had this anchor point attached to it, same as the fork. No, you know what, the anchor point was actually on the brake itself. It's a stock Kawasaki brake arm, and I have a Honda one to replace it with. It's a little bit longer. It's also made by WC Machine. The head bearings, originally ball bearings, and I machined the, the cups off the end of it and welded on cups for large taper roller bearings. I altered the, uh, the head angle by 10 degrees. You can see the slice on the side of it right there. It's a stock Suzuki CDI ignition. The, uh, Ollie just grabbed me a patch kit uh, so I can... Uh, thanks, Ollie. <laughs> so I can get this thing fixed up. It's got a pretty large diameter head pipe on it that's really long. I'm probably going to go to a smaller diameter one in the near future. The, uh, I ground off a bunch of the extra bumps and lumps on the cases that weren't really needed. I deleted the oil pump system in this thing. It had an auto lube system and a lot of the chain cover was cut off. The, uh, the pump control, the pump was back there. You can see somewhere right in there. I took, uh, I machined, I believe two millimeters off the bottom of the cylinder and machine two additional millimeters out of the top, a little less than that actually, out of the cylinder head. To lower the cylinder down to change the port timing to bring the power, down, power band down and lower RPM. I shortened the shift shaft so it didn't stick out so far. I mean, the coil's actually new old stock and early on. It's got an OKO uh, 21 millimeter carburetor that I've, uh, I just went ahead and bought every jet possible for these things. And uh, I tried up and down every scale and, and I think I have it jetted as good as it can be. I added these rubber bumpers into the frame so the gas tank rests against it and then this threaded boss right here is how I bolt it on. And those cool fasteners that you saw me, this is fiberglass and those fasteners are called Zeus fasteners, D-Z-U-S. The pipe I made, let me swing around to the other side. The back of the frame has been cut off and the these tubes used to actually be located way up here. You can see the scar left over from that. I lowered them down a couple of inches so that it would change the arm angle. You can see it's very steep. Really customized the Kickstarter quite a bit uh, to wrap around the case like that. Changed the shape of the front here and there's a, a normally a cover over that that I removed. The uh, I put the rubber things back in the cylinder. Nice little touch there. This is the pipe. As you can see it's not a very big belly on it. That makes it it really, it, all it does is make the thing have really low power. And this is a Kawasaki KX muffler that's been shortened quite a bit. I moved the uh, foot pegs down and back from where they were and made the brake pedal and relocated that and cut the frame tubes off the bottom and made the skid plate. The swing arm has been shortened an inch. I modified the hubs, the spacers on the ends of the hub on both the brake and this is a, uh, a Honda WC machine brake arm from the rear. And I drilled out the spacer and changed the length of it. As you can see for the, to get the chain line correct on the back. The rear hub is over on the tire machine and it's a KX 250 1985. And I basically put the biggest rear sprocket on it I could get and the smallest front sprocket to achieve the gear ratios that I have. You can see the rear rim is actually a 2.15 wide between uh, the beads. So it's narrow, it's wider than a normal trials tire, but it's narrower than the rim that came stock on there. And I redished this wheel over quite a bit. Uh, to get the tire back into the center. Got domino controls and am all throttle. It's got a uh, lanyard by David Scarborough, trials parts. 
It's a really nice piece because it doesn't have the elastic thing here that drives you crazy. And I believe that these are Beta from a Beta Trials bike. It has a little chainsaw compression release in there, which I don't really use. The shift lever has been altered. The normal shift lever has a rubber tip on the end, and I cut that off and put a folding tubular end on it. And as you can see, the chain comes very close. It's mostly because the chain guide isn't touching, but it actually touches the back of the shifter, or did for a while. I have an extended air screw on the carburetor. I don't remember exactly what the jetting that I have in there. If you need to know, I can always pop the thing open and take a look. And the gas tank for it is one that I made. It's getting pretty beat up at this point. I've knocked into it a couple of times. All of the body work together on this bike weighs five pounds. What I have going right now is I'm fixing the flat that it has first. And then I'm going to be make some major changes to the forks. I have some uh, Jerry uh, Minshall, Minshall in the UK made these for me, and they weld into the top of the uh, the lower fork legs and allow you to use an integrated type fender cross brace mount. And they also oh that crazy air compressor. I don't know if you can hear me or not, I hope you can. These things extend the distance between the bearings and put a larger, better seal array in there that uh, makes a major improvement. I'm gonna install these things and I'm going to, oh, I gotta shorten the damping rod, put a spacer between the bottoming cone and the bottom of the fork leg. I need to uh, do some other trickery to the inside of the, the, to the damping rod, to the inside of the forks. I have to reduce the front travel because you can see the crown hits the fender. And these trials bikes don't need a lot of front travel. They could, mine could use a little more in the rear. I could relocate those shock mounts and put some new Falcons on there. But I don't know, I have two weeks to the next event. So I'm not sure how much I should do. Um, it's got a titanium front axle. The rear axle is uh, from, it's a stock KX axle. And it has WC machine chain tensioners on it also. Pretty trick. That pretty much covers, covers everything that I've done to this thing right now. And then uh, I'm gonna get back to work on it. Well, I did something here. I decided to, well, I didn't really decide, I just did it. Put some forward mounted shocks on this thing. Uh, I got some shorter Falcons, 13.4 inches. And uh, I cut out the stock shock mounts. I'm gonna grind off all the stuff that remains underneath there. Clean those up. Take the paint off here. Bend some tubes to go in between. And the shocks. Something like this. The tube will come up like this, and then the bracket will go here. It won't take much alteration to make it work, and I think it'll give me about 50% uh, more wheel travel, a little over six inches, I think. I'm gonna switch this, this header pipe that I made is one and three quarter inch diameter. It's pretty long, it's stainless steel. I'm gonna make one that's shorter and smaller diameter. I know I should just make one change at a time, but I'm gonna try one and a half and see what happens. Don't know until you try, I can always put this one back on. What I do between events, but for this, for this weekend, I gotta do shock mounts, finish those up. I have to make a new brake pedal because, uh, and I'm gonna make it, what's interesting is I use the original Suzuki rear axle and it's the same diameter and thread as the swing arm pivot bolt, but it's about 20 millimeters longer, which will give me enough room to put a uh, bushing 
inside there, uh, under that in the frame, and uh, build a brake pedal off of that, and then put the, the pole for it uh, back here. You can see the notch that I had for the original one right there. Getting the spring on that, getting it connected, and everything is a real pain. And it's really stupid to notch your swing arm for something like that, but I was getting desperate when I did that. So that's going to be all changed. And I'm hoping that the, I know that the, the changed fulcrum of the brake pedal is going to make a difference, but uh, maybe it appears to be a little closer to where my an ankle actually pivots, although that probably has nothing to do with it. And I noticed that um, I had taken on some dirt in my airbox after the rainy weekend. So uh, if I can make some improvements to that, I'm going to have to modify it to accommodate the shocks. But um, I'll uh, set the camera up and get some more pictures. I'm going to work on it for another hour or so this morning. And then uh, I have to get to my real job, which is here. the tubes tacked in and ready to put brackets on. I think I'm done for today. I gotta clean up and get ready for the crew. Okay, well I got those on there, let's take a look.
I'm not super pretty, but it'll work. It's hard to paint things. It's hard to weld things that are painted. As you can see, the stuff's smoking and burning, but it's all right. We can get by with that. I think this thing's made out of sprinkler pipe anyways. But, yep, that worked out. I can smell gasoline. There must have been some left in the carburetor. But uh, I'm going to sand off some old tacks as soon as it cools off. Maybe uh, do a quick little sandblast job on it and spray can the thing silver. Good morning. I've been uh, rushing on this thing, trying to get it done on my Suzuki. And uh, i got the brake pedal just about done. I have to weld this piece onto it right here. It goes like this goes around the frame. We'll do that right now. And uh, then I gotta test my shock springs and see if they're good so I can try to swap them out today uh, because I'm pretty sure that my buddy's around and will be able to take care of me. He's the guy that distributes the shocks here in, uh, I don't know, New England, I guess, or maybe the United States, I don't know. But uh, this is what we're I'm going to drill some holes in it, make it pretty before I shoot some paint on it, and then i got to get on the business. Well, this is cooling off. I'm going to uh, put my rear wheel in and test out the shock springs a little bit by bouncing on it.
kickstand, so I gotta find a place to lean this against while I go find a place for me to lean against. So I guess what I'll try to do is take a video of myself sitting on the bike and I'll see if I can figure out, I'll watch the video, what you're watching, and figure out if my spring rate is good, or guess. Yeah, it's going right to the bottom. I think I need, well, I'm gonna try the next different one to see how it works. I'm gonna drill some holes in this, sandblast it, and then uh, put a coat of primer on it while I go get the new springs. So I rode it around a little bit and I put one in it's too stiff, I'm going down. I put a 70 in, it's I'm going down to a 60. I started with a 50. 60 seemed a little soft, but I think it's within the range of fixing with preload. So that's it. You're gonna, you're gonna ride it in a minute. Well, I'm on my way to go do the second event in the NETA Observed Trials Championship. So I, I flatted out of the first race, as I said before, and I think I'm a little better prepared this time. No, I didn't bring a spare tube. Yes, I did bring sealant and a pump. Of course, the same thing isn't going to go wrong twice in a row.
Sunday morning race day. Rode the bike yesterday, ran really good. Rear suspension feels great. The brake, I, the last minute yesterday before I packed up and left, I changed the geometry on the brake pedal a little bit and got it working a lot better, the rear brake. So I'm pretty confident about that. I walked all the sections and there's a lot of deep leaves and it's not buffed out like we're, we're, we often see at some some places so it's going to be um it's going to take a uh, people going through the riding the sections for it to clear out and and for you to see all the traps that are hidden below the leaves so i'm thinking about hanging back and starting a little bit late because usually i have more than an hour left at the end unless something goes wrong so uh which was like last month and two weeks ago so this time i'm going to i'm going to hang back a little bit and see what happens Good morning i'm out here at state line motorcycle club the place is full of people and uh, i think they have probably 50 riders or so so it should be a good day i think i have probably six or six or eight guys in my class like last week or two weeks ago whatever it was so i'm pretty excited about that looking forward to uh doing my best and uh Got my camera with me, so we'll get some live action shots for you. Hope you enjoy. Hey, 